Hello and welcome to TechQuiz TV. So in this video I'm going to be describing to you how I get this new setup. This is a new setup by the way. And I would also like to share with you what you can do to get the same effect. What you'll be able to see is that I am basically stood in front of a white screen in my garage. Now, obviously anybody can do this. All you need is a garage and that's pretty much it really. I went out and bought this today. It's basically just a bed sheet that I pierced some holes in and stuck some um, little hooks into the, the beam up there and I've just hooked it on. That's it. Now, you also do need some of the additional lighting. Luckily I've got fluorescent lights in here which I do intend to put two extra ones in to make it a bit more fluorescent and to, well, I intend to replace all the bulbs because they're a bit knackered and a bit pink and it's not very good for digital lighting, you know what I mean? I've also got this little uh, lamp over here which you probably won't be able to see, it's probably out of frame, I don't know, but that's also not a very good light because it's the wrong type of light, it's using a regular bulb whereas you want fluorescent, like I was just saying. Um, another good thing about this is I've got skylights and ceiling, that's good because daylight is the best thing in video. You can't get better than daylight. Well, you can get soft boxes and things that are better for studio lighting, but daylight is generally, you know, one of the best. You can't do better than that, really. Now, there's still a few things that I need to do with this setup to get it to be um, perfect. For example, I need to iron that sheet behind me because if I stand out of the way and zoom in, what you will see is that there are actually a lot of creases and marks and, you know, deformities in the, the the sheet itself, which is obviously not a good thing, because you know it, it just looks weird. Onto equipment now. There's different sorts of equipment that you will need for different sorts of sorts of things. Um, if you want to achieve this sort of studio look that I've got going on, um, and to get it perfect, then you will either need a high-end digital camera, camcorder, should I say, or a DSLR that does 1080p video. Um, Generally DSLRs are better for things like this, I'm not using one right now, I'm using a Canon HF100 uh, which is a fairly high-end camcorder. Um, as long as it has manual controls then you should be okay because that's the sort of thing that you need to use in this sort of setup. For example, if you want to use a lapel mic well, like what I'm using right now, then you need to have mic in, which is, well, it's pretty self-explanatory really. It's basically a hole that you plug a microphone into and there you go. You also need to buy the additional microphone, of course, as well. That won't come with a camera, generally. Um, you may also want to get some headphones or something, just so you can check that the, head that the audio levels are correct. You will also need um, in-camera audio adjustment, so that when you're filming, you, can, you don't rely on it in post-editing, because you can't always achieve, you know, perfect... You can't, you can't get a perfect effect in editing. You know what I mean? You do need to have good equipment as well as good editing, if that makes any sense. But what I'm trying to show you today is that you do not need an amazing, you know, high-end studio in some office building somewhere to get a good look like this, because obviously I won't be zoomed out like most of the time, I'll be zoomed in like this. And what that does is that it makes my, it, the camera focuses on my face, which makes the background go blurry for a start when I'm zoomed in this far. It also means that the white balance is on is, is focused on my face, which means that my face is has got the correct lighting that it should have. It might be a bit off colour or whatever because I'm using funny fluorescent lights in here. But once you've got good fluorescent lights, your face will be perfectly in good colour. But what that also means is that the background should be blown out, which is a good thing because that makes it too bright, it makes any creases go away. I can't tell on the video if they have at the moment because that's and that's what you're supposed to check before you start filming, but obviously I'm messing about with zoom and stuff in this video anyway, so I can't do it while I'm filming. But that's the point of the of the um, white balance on the camera to be focused on your face, because then it will blow out the background and remove any um, anything that you can see on it, really. Because you don't want to be able. To, the whole point is that you don't want to see the background. That's the whole point. You don't want a background. You just want a plain white. You just want plain whiteness behind you. It gives it this. It gives the video this purity, this cleanness, this crispness. It makes it look really, really good. Like how Apple do in their their press videos or whatever. Whenever they come out with a new product, they always have all these high-end, you know, John Ives and all that sitting on chairs and stuff with white background, complete, in completely white 
a completely white situation because it gives it this really nice looking, really crisp, clean look which you can't achieve with anything else. Now I'm sure that Apple spend a lot more money on their development than I do. You know what I mean? I've got a little camera on a tripod with a bed sheet behind me uh, in a garage which if I zoom out you might be able to see it. If not, then I will um, show you a picture right now. There is actually a, a motorbike stood in front of me right now. The camera's behind it, it's shooting over the top of the motorbike and at my face. There's also a cross trainer right next to me. You know, there's a lawnmower over here. There's some TV and a, an old fire down here. There's shelves full of crap. There's a fridge here. You know, there's, there's crap like this everywhere in everybody's garage. But that's the, stuff, that's the sort of stuff that you need to ignore and that you need to just... You know, it doesn't matter what your surroundings are. As long as whatever is in the video's frame looks good, that's all that matters. And as long as you can get good audio, which I'm using a lapel mic, it's not a very good lapel mic, I'll admit, I intend to get a better one eventually. But as long as you've got good equipment, and you know what you're doing, then you can achieve something good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically show you around this garage, and I'm going to show you what the, si what the whole situation looks like. So I'm holding the camera right now in front of my face, which is obviously a lot worse quality than it being over there on the tripod because number one, you know, camera shake, number two, everything's in focus, which is not what you want. If your camera is further, by the way, here's a good tip. If you want shallow depth of field from a camcorder that doesn't have manual ISO and things like that, ISO doesn't make any difference, I don't know what I'm talking about. But if you want to get shallow depth of field from a camcorder easily, then what you need to do is you need to put the camera as far away as possible and zoom in as far as you can. Um, because that, the more you zoom, the shallower depth of field you get. Good tip there. Top tip of the day. Anyway, back on to what I was doing. I'm going to show you around what I've got going on at the moment. So, as you can see, the sheet behind me. I think I'm zoomed out all the way. Whoops, that's my face. Yeah, so... So here we go. This is what I've got going on here. I've got this sheet. It's pinned up up here. I've just cut some holes in it and pinned it up. There and there. Now I've just got it draped down onto the floor. Here's a cross trainer. Here's a stool. I've got this light here, which I've got shining directly onto the background, not onto me, because if I've got it facing me, then that's that's not what I want because I don't want to have I want to be I want to be a lot darker than the background. As long as I can get good light on me, then that's good obviously. You could do with a softbox or something like that, but you need a lot more light on the background than what than you do on you. That's a good tip. Um, then that's the bike I was talking about and then over there is the tripod where the camera usually sits right in front of the garage door um, and that's basically it really obviously uh, on, on me I've got the lapel mic there it's that weird black dot and on the back of the camera I'll put a video I'll put a picture here now of what the camera looks like with the uh, lapel mic attachment coming out the back uh, which is plugged in and yeah, that's that's really it. You know what I mean? You don't need amazing equipment. This this camera, you can get these cameras for like 150 quid off eBay. You know what I mean? And they are pretty high-end cameras. The only reason that they're so cheap is because they're they're outdated now. The HF100, there was the HF100, then there was the HF200, and the HF200 didn't even be made anymore. That's how outdated this camera is. But it's still 1080p. It's actually 1080i. But you can fix motion blur, uh, not motion blur, you can fix the, the interlaced video weird squiggly lines and stuff. You can fix that in editing. You know, that's what everybody does. Um, and that's really it. I mean, it's got so many features, this camera. Um, mine's even got a cracked screen. That's how many features it's got. But, you know what I mean? It's got really, really good audio. It's got a really good built-in microphone. Obviously, it's not as good for, for what I'm using. It's not as good as a lapel mic. Um, it's got a remote that comes with it, which is... Somewhere, where's the remote? Come remote, it's over there on the bike, look. It comes with a remote, it's over there. And really, you can't go wrong. You know what I mean? That's, that's the whole point of this video, is you don't need the best equipment in the world to get the best video in the world. Honestly. So, there you go. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down there somewhere. Um, if, if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button there somewhere. And I hope to see you next video. Thank you for watching TechWiz TV. Goodbye.